Hello Sangeeta, thanks for having me, it's a pleasure to speak with you. I'm here in Hyderabad, in Wings, India, for the second time, this is the second opportunity I have to be here with the beautiful Tech Lion the 195E2, which we brought to Hyderabad to showcase the product because uh, we believe we have um, a unique uh, selling points that uh, address the requirements of the Indian Airlines. Okay, the 195E2 has not only the right capacity, it can be configured with up to 146 seats in a high density configuration, but, and most important, it has the right unit cost. The seat cost of this aircraft is just as low as a typical 186 seat aircraft, which is the most popular air aircraft flying uh, in this country. What we always advocate in, in India is that each market demands a specific aircraft type, okay? So we have metro to metro areas, which naturally is served by uh, a large capacity aircraft and some short haul regional routes that obviously will be served by turboprops, but we see um, a gap, we see an opportunity to connect non-metro to non-metro cities and also metro to non-metro cities with a right sized aircraft that delivers the right uh, cost structure that airlines in India required, okay? So, uh, markets that are longer for a uh, turboprop, that is beyond the typical operational profile of a turboprop, or markets that don't have enough capacity, enough uh, passengers to fulfill all the seats of a large aerobite aircraft, that's the sweet spot for this aircraft, for the 195 e 2 okay? Uh, we see, and uh, this is very important, we are very um, optimistic the, the way the, air, the Indian airline industry is evolving over the next years, especially with the support from the government with the Udan scheme, which is great to connect uh, uh, small communities, mid-sized cities, and uh, uh, put them just one stop away from everywhere in the world, okay? Uh, but we also understand that there is a limitation uh, and the Udan scheme can be uh, improved and uh, offered connectivity nationwide. Okay? Right now the rule is limited to 500 kilometers. So only uh, uh, short sectors up to 500 kilometers are eligible to be part of the regional connectivity scheme. And if that rule is waived, is relaxed, there are so many opportunities to connect long and thin routes and really provide a nationwide connectivity that would bring uh, better air service, improved connectivity, and therefore would result in better economic output for the country. And by economic output, I mean more jobs, more value added, and even a higher GDP. So that's what this aircraft offers, okay? It's a real pathfinder to connect small communities, mid-sized communities among them, and also to metro cities, to Mumbai, to Delhi, to Hyderabad, to Bangalore. That's why we see uh, this, um, this aircraft offering a very unique uh, uh, selling point. The value proposition this aircraft offers, again, the combination of right capacity and right unit cost is exactly what airlines need to improve and to contribute with the regional aviation development, okay? This aircraft uh, would join a established fleet we have in the country, okay? We have Star Air flying the ERJs 145, uh, most of them in the Udan scheme. Uh, we also have around 20 business jets flying. The Indian government flies uh, some surveillance aircraft based on the ERJ platform, and the 195E2 that uh, we had the opportunity to bring here would just complement and broaden our footprint in the region. So we're very optimistic. We understand we can support the development of our services. It doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter the business unit, be it commercial aviation, executive, or defense. We have the right product for the Indian market. And we are here to partner uh, uh, with the local companies and support the industry in this process, in this evolution. Thank you very much.